Listen to Dullheads, baby. Thing about me, I might be one of those guys who's able to actually, mm, you know, do a little couple things. You better watch out because my dad works for Telecom. Yeah, so, spe- okay, let's just get into it. Uh, Elon yeah, Musk's, let me know because I don't understand Musk's, why everybody flipped on him. But e- Elon Musk's mom is a witch, first of all. When Elon all right. Musk was a child, your chair's on. When Elon. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a dick. When Elon Musk was a kid, his uh, nanny, he had a nanny. His, 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 so he's from South Africa. He comes from money. His dad actually helped either found or did a lot of shit with DARPA, which is uh, true. So nice. immediately has a fucking uh, three letter alphabet agency connection yeah. right there. So, Not good already, Elon. So Come Elon's on. dad was uh, a part of DARPA. I don't remember exactly what it is, but I know that he's a part of it. So yeah, so all those missiles that he's apparently privately fucking funding 100% has military fucking probably black funding 100%. What type of black? <laughs> BBC, <laughs> BBC funding. It's um, got the BBC funding. BBC funding. We're talking about British Columbian television. Yeah. BBC. I don't know. Um, so, but Elon's mom was like a witch, satanic witch, and she <laughs> said <Okay. it> with <laughs> no backing. Uh, huh, no, good. but she she had a nanny for Elon, and Elon said Elon's nanny said that she would like walk in on him levitating. And like weird shit and she would say that like the mom was always like you need to watch my son he's literally the antichrist she would say this she would literally say this all the time they were doing back-to-back antichrist episodes <laughs> yeah uh there is actually Holy shit, so dude. besides mr beast being the antichrist there's actually some pretty solid um stuff about uh, Elon being the antichrist. Elon being the antichrist. Like. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to. But type everybody in... hates Elon now. That's what's kind of confusing me because everybody's supposed to love the antichrist. That's what really got me with Mr. Beast. Yeah. Everybody loves that fucking guy. Yeah, but they also hate him too because he he's you know pretending to cure blindness. But May Musk, um, I'm here. I'm looking it up. Yeah, she's a she, she's a mom. May Musk. Yeah, that's her. Red her. flag. She's born May Hate Haldeman. Uh, she's South African. Hate. Uh, Haddle, Hale, 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 stop focusing on. You're throwing me off. Okay, you're sorry. On the sorry. Shit. I, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Elon, Elon May Haddleman. No. So she was. So she was a, a model. But there's tons of symbolic imagery of her doing this, the OK sign, but with this, which is six six six. Um, and when you put it over your eye, when you do this. Oh, I've seen a Rihanna. When do you that. do this. It, yeah, Rihanna does it. It's basically saying that you have one of your eyes closed, so you're taking the left or right hand path, which the left hand path relates to Satanism. Like you're giving the other eye to Satan, almost. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's the hidden eye. It's it's like a hidden hand. This, not, it's not good. Le- yeah, left hand path, occultic knowledge, the Kabbalah, another Jonah book. Evil's bad. Jonah magic, J- Jewish gematria, folks. It's bad stuff. So if you ever get into it. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> a lot of things are going on today. Elon Musk, a lot of Jewish Yamatria. Donald Trump also does this. Another one of part of the mafia. Really? Yeah. So this DT is, does it, dude. DT does this all the time when he talks. Dude. So think about it. Six, 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 baby. That's what that means. I um, hope you don't find a frame of me doing it because <laughs> well, I talk. You just old. found fifty of me doing that. I talk so. way too much with my hands. <laughs> yeah, you move your hands really weird. You just need to hold my shin really tight. So. So that that relates. So I guess kind of some backstory on so Elon's dad. Uh, I actually don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that his dad is is uh, okay, so related to DARPA. Okay, Hang so on. his mom's a witch. His dad's government. His dad's government. Uh, so Errol he's like Musk, a, he's a levitating warlock so yeah, far. So Errol 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 Musk is a South American electromechanical engineer, pilot, sailor, and consultant. Um, he's an engineer and property developer in South Africa. He also did some stuff for DARPA. Um, Red flag. Yeah. White dude with boats in Africa. <laughs> Not good. Not good. That's true. That's true. Got bad ties, dude. <laughs> Hang on, dude. I'm I'm trying to. Uh, so find he's this. born from a witch and a slave trader. B- essentially, essentially, yes. I get why people don't like him already. He also old emerald mines, so most likely 
just straight up slavery. That's I do like things. me some emeralds though. That's, They're very pretty. <laughs> African emerald. It, mm, yes, but so that's one of the things. That's another thing with Bill Gates. Bill Gates' father was also in the CIA, um, and he he has family who is also has ties to um, intelligence agencies, just like Elon Musk. So all these people who uh, claim to have come from nothing, invented things like PayPal, like Elon Musk does, um, Microsoft, like Bill Gates, they all have these ties to like American intelligence. It's nothing. Nobody made a fucking computer in a garage, dude. That's not what fucking happened. Yeah. You Never know, happened ever. It, that's not what happened. Mr. Beast didn't just fucking five and five grand and just get famous. He's dude. backed. Mr. Beast is backed by one of the fucking biggest uh, talent uh, agencies in the world that that uh, f uh, backs fucking Disney and Amazon. Has a thirty billion dollar payroll. Go listen to the last yeah. episode. Uh, one million social media influencers. One million. That's one. Like, oh, he took out a loan for ten grand. What type of bank gives a nineteen-year-old a ten thousand dollar yeah. loan? So not nothing, my bank. Nothing is as it seems. Everything is fake and game. Not Chase. So. That's that's not who's giving out ten thousand dollar loans Chase. to nineteen-year-olds. I owe Chase seven hundred and eighty-five dollars, and I've owed it to them forever. I'm never paying it. You're never getting it, and you're gonna fucking cancel. It. So Chase Bank and Morgan Chase, Morgan Chase, fuck JP you, Morgan. Dude. JP Morgan, the guy who fucking faked. He's the, crashing our economy again. Yeah, fuck you, yeah, dude. And the guy who faked the Titanic. The Titanic wasn't real. It was the Olympia. It's all a cover up. It's all a psyop. Everything's fake and gay. Fuck you guys. All right. So now we're back on to Elon Musk. That's right. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you think that we could turn that into a clip? I don't know. Probably not. Right. Something that'll get banned because that's not allowed or something. Clip it, Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Clip it, producer. Uh, so, okay. So what we're going to get into primarily is Elon Musk. You probably know. So I guess well, let's talk about his Twitter thing and then we'll get into this. Elon Musk bought Twitter and he was trying to pretend like he was a champion of Twitter. Champion of free speech, bastion of free speech. Ended up bastardizing that by hiring this lady who's on the World Economic Forum to actually be the CEO of Twitter. Just happened this week. Dude, really? Yep. Listen to this. Okay. So, World Economic Forum. So, everyone was saying that Elon Musk actually, uh, actually, uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, uh, fucking allowed free speech on Twitter so people would out themselves for the upcoming social credit system that we're going to implement. That way, once in, in, in two, 2030, when we have a, a centralized digital currency, um, it will be able to be tied to your Twitter. So China has WeChat. China has WeChat where everything is on an app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, your currency. That's what Elon Musk originally said we was going to try and do with Twitter. He was going to try and have an app called X. Okay, it was going to be X, and it was going to be everything was going to be on it. Just listen, everything is going to be on it. Your ID, your fucking vaccination records, um, all that. He basically said that he wanted Twitter to do that. So now he's bringing in someone from the World Economic Forum. Uh, and all of these people who tweeted all this racist stuff on Twitter, not me, uh, <laughs> they've now outed themselves as to where they sit with their social credit system. So once they, so now you, they're saying that you, you might secretly have a credit score somewhere for your social credit. And then that will tie directly to the central digital currency that's going to come out within the next seven years. They're working on it right now. They're already working on fed now, which is a coin, um, they're already right. working on all that stuff. So do we get Dogecoin or SHIB? Uh, I'm saying we get Doge, which actually probably don't get Doge because Elon Musk artificially pumped Doge by making Doge the... Uh, they replaced the Twitter bird logo with the Dogecoin logo. Really? Like a couple months ago on the on the uh, desktop version of Twitter. Elon Musk has his little greedy hands and everything. SpaceX is a fucking psyop. We don't actually... You know, his, his missiles don't go to space. They don't go to space. They don't even break the atmosphere. Space is fake and gay. What's the thing? Like everybody used to love like SpaceX, and I just saw a bunch of people cheering his last spaceship blowing up, and then he also said it was a good thing. I'm like, yeah, what I don't the know. fuck is happening? Elon what? Musk is such a dickhead, dude. That, and I got this from our, our buddies over at He's Uncle like Ted. Fat skinny too. Beware. Yeah, be aware of fat skinny people. So, like I was saying, we <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk is such a dickhead, and I got this from our good friends over at Uncle Ted's cabin. Uh, shouts out. Uh, he wants the rockets to look more pointy. So he wants the rockets to look more pointy. And here's the thing. Phallus-shaped rockets are more aerodynamic than pointy, pointy rockets. So okay. he just was like, no, I don't care. 
And he's just making rockets that aren't as efficient because he's a dickhead. But I thought he was making rockets that were really efficient. Now he's like kind of fucking that up. Yeah, for for the aesthetic. What if he's doing? Which I it actually on, respect. What if he's doing it on purpose? He could be because here's the thing: you can't get past the Van Allen belt. I don't believe that we've ever been to space. I'm also starting to question <laughs> to question whether or not satellites are real. But hang on, hang on. Let me get there. I'm They're getting just there. weather balloons. I'm getting there. I'm yeah. I'm getting there. So here's another thing: look at the rockets Elon is sending up into space. They look like penises. Okay, look at the little, look at, the, listen, listen, I'm not done. L listen, to, <laughs> listen to, listen to, not listen, look at the fake spaceship that uh, uh, Jeff Bezos took up to space. It looks like a vagina. They're starting to say that they're trying to breach the firmament of Earth in order, and, and these are sexual organs that are penetrating the firmament in order to break into the heavens. I've researched this extensively. This is going to get into our episode next week where we talk about Neil deGrasse Tyson and Flat Earth. Mechanical sex organs? Yes. So now we're going back to AI, <laughs> and so that's our whole thing about Twitter. Oh my gosh. Uh, Elon <laughs> is basically trying to get into space because it, he's trying to have sex with heaven. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, huh? I know way too much about this. I love it. Am I mentally ill? That's like when Grandpa looked at me, dude, when I saw him last week, and he goes, "What the fuck happened, dude?" I'm like, like I stopped drinking, dude. <laughs> You're like, happened? Uh, actually, I'm better now. <laughs> so there's a video game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, baby. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, uh. All day, nigga. Ooh, yeah, 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 hell yeah. So there's a video <laughs> game called Dos Ex Machina. Yeah, what is? When did this come out? I need to grasp the year of the game first. 1984. Oh shit! So is, board game? is it weird that this video game came out in 1984, uh, the year when all this Orwellian shit started? You know, whatever the book. You probably know. You probably heard about it. Orwell. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so Dos Ex Machina, the game was first accompanied uh, by a fully synchronized. Why am I reading the soundtrack details? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it was, dude? I, I was like, dude, I'm doing really good right. reading this because so of the good at in ear monitors are fucking me up. All right. So, gameplay. Um, players of the game are to take control of a defective machine, which is taken the form of a human body. Players would experience at different stages of life, all the way from being a single cell to a senile old being. It's also considered to be a visual audio entertainment, although the game itself does not have sound. I don't know what that means. Oh, separate audio cassette, uh, where the tape is played alongside the game. Uh, the, the audio cassette is 40 Why is this all about the music? <laughs> this is all about, this is the gameplay. So you basically, what you- What console was it on? I'm I That's think it's com I think it's computer. I was about to, what? Um, platforms. Do you remember the old school floppy games? Those barely functioned as they were just moving books. Yeah, I don't know. It, the platforms. It says Z X Spectrum MSX Commodore sixty four, Android what iOS Windows Linux Mac. So because it so it was re released in twenty fifteen. Um, okay. And here's how it ties That's into That's a creepy Elon. sounding game, dude. So yeah, you go from a single cell organism as a machine into um, being an old man. And this is interesting. We're gonna get into the interesting part here. So basically what they think uh, Elon Musk is trying to achieve with Neuralink, with AI, with all this stuff is transhumanism. Are you aware of what transhumanism is? Yeah, it's like cyborg basically. Sort of. So you you are basically able to upload your consciousness to the so you cloud can live forever or to a, a hard a drive. Yeah, so you could live forever. Interesting thing. When I was in college, probably 2014, we would we learned about transhumanism in my one of my philosophy courses, and I thought that is so fucking gay. That will never be possible. <laughs> These guys are all a bunch of fucking, fucking dumb nerds. I forgot that we're not on the Patreon. They're dumb a bunch nerds. Of, bunch of nerds. And the more I thought about it, I was like, if you want to upload your consciousness to a computer, you're a fucking gay lord. And this is what Elon Musk is. He's a fucking gay lord. So this is the brain implants, dark conspiracies, and digital gods. How DOS X games help explain Elon Musk. I have not read this article. <laughs> All right. If, before you go, if the Matrix isn't real... This motherfucker's trying to make it. Yeah, essentially, yes. So basically, the ultimate goal here is to either use SpaceX to get humanity, the elites, more like uh, parasitic satanic vampires, get them off of this world, because this is going to reset. Yeah, for sure. This is going to reset. 
so it's either to get them off world or to be able to upload our consciousness into a transhuman realm, you know, so they can live forever because they know where they're going. And just dart us back down here after the reset. No, not us, the elites. The ones who rule the world. Yeah, the people that matter. But I mean, because they know this is either a prison planet and they're getting recycled back into and reincarnated into being a low life form because they're such negative hoarding sacks of shit, these billionaires, or they're going to hell, dude, forever. You know? They're trying to probably avoid hell. That's my guess. Yeah. And well, we're going straight to the heaven, we're baby. We're going to heaven, baby. As long as you don't upload your dumb, damn consciousness into the Elon computer. <laughs> God damn it. You can barely say that. Dude. I know. So, as long as you don't blow up your load, your damn Elon. Where's that? What's that one thing called where your brain thinks faster than your mouth can move? It's like a. Um, I think like ten percent of people have it or something. Probably you have that. I think I, I think have. I have the opposite. My brain just goes like. I can just talk. So my, yeah. <laughs> I can just talk and have no idea what my my, my brain is off, and I'm just. Yeah, but you I can, like, Holy, articulate very well. I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm trying to... I let the Holy Spirit flow through me, baby. That's why. All day, nigga. <laughs>